Mark Ruffalo just got exposed in this absolutely insane way that he did not see coming as one of the biggest clowns in Hollywood. So as we know, Mark Ruffalo is yet another one of these pawns for the Democrat establishment. He continues to push all sorts of absolutely insane communist agendas and woke nonsense and all of that type of crap. And all of it is coming back to haunt him in a major way that we're going to be checking out here today. This is absolutely incredible stuff. So Mark Ruffalo Buffalo campaigning for Elon Omar quickly backfires as a primary opponent seizes on celebrities gaff. So Mark Ruffalo continues to pretend that he is some sort of expert when it comes to things like climate change and always pushing for more and more government control over your life. And this is what he had to say about all this. So actor Mark Ruffalo inadvertently highlighted Elon Omar's vote against federal infrastructure dollars in her district while trying to boost her campaign ahead of Thursday's primary vote. So he's out here endorsing Elon Omar. So Mark Ruffalo put out this insane tweet where he says, thanks to Elon Omar, Minnesota will see 100,000 new green jobs over the next decade. That's real leadership on climate action. Join us in churning out to vote for Elon Omar and keeping a true progressive in Congress. Elon has our backs. I don't know why everyone continues to think, especially these people, these celebrities continue to put out this narrative that the government are really going to take care of us guys they're really in it for us they're totally not in it for themselves whatsoever or uh, benefiting their own life improving their own life while you continue to suffer that's that's not what these politicians do at all especially people like elon omar and well immediately he got destroyed first by a a community note on on x okay where it says elon omar voted against the bipartisan infrastructure act which brought those green jobs to minnesota so she was one of the people that voted against the things that mark ruffalo is saying that she is all for so already right there mark ruffalo got completely exposed completely destroyed exposed as a clown but it gets even better because then elon omar's opponent don samuels jumps in and destroys Mark Ruffalo by saying another satisfied constituent. Oh wait, no, a celebrity who doesn't live here nor is from here. And we see this happening all the time from these celebrities. They love to pretend that they can speak on any issue in the country. Meanwhile, they sit in their giant mansion back in Hollywood and they don't have to worry about a single thing while the rest of us suffer. Also, unfortunately, Representative Omar voted against President Biden's Bipartisan Infrastructure Act, which has created over 38,300 good-paying union jobs and made a historic investment in combating climate change. This is insane. Absolutely incredible to see Mark Ruffalo getting completely obliterated from both sides. I love it. Push back on these Hollywood actors that think that they can speak for you and speak for your life. They can't, okay? They live in a bubble that is not the real world. And Mark Ruffalo continues to prove that time and time again. Now, I definitely do not, like, agree with a lot of the stuff that is going on with climate change, especially, like, a lot of the big pushes and all that type of stuff. I think it is the wrong way to go about it. And I think that the government being in charge of anything is never going to end the right way. It is always going to end in lackluster or disaster. But with all that aside, Mark Ruffalo still got completely destroyed it is hilarious stuff completely exposing himself with all this being said let me know what you think about this hilarious backfire that mark ruffalo is currently facing hope you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe and i'll talk to you all in another video very soon